Hello friends, this video is brought to you by www.mwayteaching.com. Pair of linear equation in two variables. In this, firstly we will introduce you to pair of linear equation in two variables. Then we proceed to solving these equations graphically. Next we will learn algebraic methods of solving the pair of linear equations which includes substitution method, elimination method and cross multiplication method. Finally, we will learn equations reducible to pair of linear equation in two variables. We have studied linear equation in two variable in ninth class, chapter 4. You can see the videos and then proceed further. Let us recall that any equation which can be put in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 where a, b and c are real numbers and a and b cannot be 0 is called a linear equation in two variables. Here x and y are the variables. Let us consider a linear equation in two variables say 2x plus 3y equal to 12. Now if we substitute x equal to 3 we can find a value of y. Let us do it 2 into 3 plus 3y equal to 12 will give us 3y equal to 12 minus 6 y equal to 6 by 3 that is y equal to 2. So the ordered pair 3 2 where 3 corresponds to the value of x and 2 corresponds to the value of y is one of the solution of the linear equation 2x plus 3y equal to 12. Similarly, we can substitute many different values of x and find more solutions of this equation. So that means a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions. Sometimes we can form two equations for the same situation. Consider an example. Akhila went to a fair. Number of times she played a game is half the number of rides she had. If we denote number of rides she took by x and number of games she played by y, then since she played game, number of times she played game is half the number of rides. So y is equal to half of x. Further in the question it is given that each ride cost rupees 3 and each game cost rupees 4 and she spent a total of rupees 20. So we can use the same variables and form another equation on the same situation that is 3 times the number of rides plus 4 times the number of games will give us 20. There are several ways of finding the solution to this pair of equation for the same situation. 
which we will study in this chapter. The general form of linear equation in two variables, say x and y, is a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 where a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 are real numbers and a1 square plus b1 square cannot be equal to 0 also a2 square plus b2 square cannot be equal to 0 let us recall another fact about the solution of a linear equation in two variables suppose we have 2x plus 3y equal to 5 then 1 1 is a solution of this equation if if it satisfies the equation that means if we substitute in the left hand side of the equation the values corresponding to x and y and we get the right hand side then it will be a solution of the equation so let us take the left hand side of this equation substitute 1 1 that means value of x 1 and value of y also 1 we get 5 which is equal to right hand side of this equation so we can say that 1 1 is a solution of 2x plus 3y equal to 5 let us check if 1 7 is a solution of this equation let us substitute in the left hand side we have 2x plus 3y instead of 5 substitute 7 and for x substitute 1 we get 2 plus 21 that is 23 which is not equal to right hand side of the equation hence we can say that 1 7 is not a solution of 2x plus 3y equal to 5 let us understand what this means geometrically for first of all let us recall that graph of a linear equation in two variable is a line and every solution of the equation is a point on the line representing it so that means if we represent 2x plus 3y equal to 5 geometrically it will be a line and the point 1 1 will lie on the line representing this equation this equation while the point 1 7 will not lie on the line which that will represent this equation on the graph we conclude by saying that each solution x y of a linear equation in two variables corresponds to a point on the line representing the equation and vice versa that is every point on the line representing the equation is a solution of that linear equation in two variables let us now understand the geometrical meaning of the pair of linear equation in two variables say we have pair of linear equations in two variables then graph of each of the equation will be a line and we will have to consider both the lines together then only one of the following possibilities can happen either the two lines will intersect or the two lines will be parallel to each other or the two lines will coincide with each other that means they lie on each other
we have to understand that both ways of representing a pair of linear equation in two variables that is the algebraic method and the geometrical way go hand in hand for instance if the lines intersect then the pair of linear equation has a unique solution if the lines are parallel then the equations have no solution and if the lines coincide then the equations have infinitely many solution we shall elaborate on this concept of solutions for pair of linear equation in two variable further in this chapter let us read the question akhila went to a fair and number of times she played a game his half is half the number of times she rides each ride cost her rupees 3 and each game cost her rupees 4 she spends total of rupees 20 find the number of games she played and rides she had if we denote the number of rides she had by variable x and number of games she played by y then the first equation formed is y equal to half of x and the second equation is 3x plus 4y equal to 20 so we have two equations in the variable x and y so now we will have two tables first table corresponds to equation 1 and the second one will correspond to equation 2 let us start with equation 1 if x equal to 0 y equal to 0 by 2 that is 0 if x equal to 2 2 by 2 implies y equal to 1 If x equal to minus two, y will be minus one. Next, to make the table for the second equation, first let us solve this equation. We get four y equal to twenty minus three x. Or y equal to twenty minus three x whole by four. So now corresponding to each value of x, we will substitute here and find the value of y. For x equal to zero, we get y equal to five. For x equal to four, we get y equal to 2 if we take x equal to 6 we get 36 by 18 20 minus 18 is 2 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 or 0.5 it's now time to plot both the tables one by one on the graph we plot the points 0 0 2 1 minus 2 minus 1 and join them this is the line of the equation y equal to half of x similarly let us plot the points for the second line That is three x plus four y equal to twenty. We plot zero five, four two, and six, and zero point five. Now join them. We get graph of the equation three x plus four y equal to twenty. From the graph, we observe that the two lines. 
representing the two equations are intersecting and they are intersecting at a point 42 we will discuss later what this means but for now we have to understand that this is the graph that represents two lines in two variables 